Hey everyone. So I have some channel messages here. So I just did a video about how a lot of you in this third party group, you're going to get an apology from a toxic karmic that either physically abused you, mentally abused you, or your person. Um, they want you to know that this apology is not genuine. They're just trying to gaslight you. They are scared. They know that what they're doing is not working anymore. The anger, the control, the little, a lot of these, a lot of them like to think that they're, they're, they have like a bratty energy where they think it's cute and it's actually ugly to everybody around them. And um, a lot of you are going to get an apology from this karmic because they just have nothing else to pull on. Like they've tried to gaslight you or your person in other ways. They've tried to, you know, the anger and the hatred and the brattiness just isn't working anymore. So they're going to try to be in the eight of swords energy and, you know, give you a sob story and say they want to change and blah, blah, blah. You know, the divine wants you to know this person is not changed. And if this is a true love you're dealing with, like they, they probably have changed. So I want you to know if, if you get an apology from a true love, you should accept it. Definitely accept it if it's a if it's an apology from a true love. You know, if it's someone that treated you well, but like there was some issues, then yeah, accept that apology. But if you get an apology from a toxic karmic, and the karmics in this energy group are psychos, like they are like slit your tires, hit you, beat your beat you up, threaten to hurt you, threaten to you know, threaten to, to take all your money. Like they are psychos. So, you know, if it's a karmic, you know, if you get an apology from a karmic, that's when you need to ignore the apology. That's not genuine. Um, I went into that in the last video. So I'm doing like a three part video. This is, this is part number two. And, um, basically, basically what I'm getting here is that these karmics are trying to hide behind mommy or daddy right now. Because everything they've done to manipulate you or manipulate your person, it hasn't worked anymore. And karma is coming for them. And I'm going to get into that in the third video. I'm sorry. I'm still figuring out my camera. So in, at the, in the meantime, I have to separate the videos every 20 minutes or so. But I'm, I'm going to hopefully figure that out soon. Or just get a new camera either way. But, um, but yeah, it's like the karmic is trying. <laughs> what I'm getting is that the karmic has lost everybody because nobody wants to deal with a clown. Like that came through strongly. My spirit guides straight up troll this set of karmics. It is hilarious. Like if they wish me ill, like the karmic I'm dealing with, if she wishes me ill, my numbers on YouTube will like blow up and they'll make her see it. And it just, it cracks me up. They they troll the karmics. They really, I should do a video on that too, because that's really fucking funny. But a lot of you are dealing with the same thing where your spirit guides, there's a lot of justice being served for this third party energy group. You know, you guys are going to see justice finally. And what I'm getting is that, yeah, the karmic is alone because nobody wants to deal with, with him or her being a clown anymore. The karmic has, so the karmic usually takes like a bratty, male or female, you know, take it as it resonates. Even if I say female, if you feel like it's male, just apply it as it resonates. It, there's no gender here. You know, it's just, it's, you know, take it as how it resonates. But what I'm feeling is like the karmic is, she's been trying, like usually she's bratty. Usually she think and she thinks that it's cute. She thinks that being a little spoiled brat is cute, stamping her foot, demanding what she wants, being a bitch. She thinks it's all cute and it's not, it's ugly. People see her ugliness now inside and out. Um, they see her true colors and it's just, ugh, it's an icky energy. These karmics are icky. Ugh. But anyway, um, what I'm feeling is like, she's trying another approach is what I'm getting because the anger and the gaslighting and the, she's gaslighting still, but in another way now. She's finding a new way to gaslight people. So before it was like, you know, she tried pouting or being a bitch or being dominant, being angry, being aggressive. And now everybody's recognizing that she doesn't have any real power. She just draws her power from other people, which is what succubuses do. They're leeching off other people. None of that power is her own. She's actually very weak on her own. Um, and, and everyone's recognizing that now. I went into that in the last video. And these these um, friends and family of the Karmics don't want to deal with her anymore because she's a clown. I'm getting that there's still a couple dealing with her. Like, she might have, like, a mother or someone that's dealing with her, but her mom's sick of her. You know, whoever this is. Because I was getting in the last video, I was saying that, you know, a lot of these Karmics have found a toxic ally. So they either met somebody that they know is low vibrational like them, and they've teamed up with them, or they've befriended the divine feminine's old old toxic friend or the divine masculine's old toxic friend 
and or they've met someone new that they just, you know, they're like, oh, this person's low vibrational. This person will, you know, listen to my my sob story because everybody else around them is raising their vibration. So the karmic can't reach them anymore. The karmic can't reach these people that she used to drain because, you know, society and and, the, her, and everyone's, you know, friends, family, everyone is seeing through the karmic now. They, they see her true colors. There's no way to gaslight them anymore. There's no turning back from that. So it's not just the divine masculine taking his power back. It's actually several people that are seeing through her now and calling their power, their power back to themselves. Some of this is happening on a spiritual level where it's almost like the divine masculine, just his power and his strength, his energy standing up to the karmic. It's like he's so strong right now and he broke these cycles where it's almost like spiritually on some kind of psychic level, it, it, it paved the way. It's like he stepped into his power as a leader, finally. And it's almost like it paved the way for these other people that she drained to um, to also take their power back and also cut her out. Now, this could be actually physically clearing his name and clearing the Divine Feminine's name. And being like going to his friends and being like, you know what? I know I said the karmic wasn't a psycho, but I was wrong about her. She actually is a psycho you know, kind of warning his friends about what's up. This could also just be all happening on a psychic level where it's like he stepped in his power so much that it's like it sent out like a psychic, like a telepathic call to anyone in her energy field, anyone she has drained. You know, it's like the divine masculine was so in his power that it's like his his call, his um, that energy he stepped into let other people know that it's safe to cut her out now. It's safe for all. It's like he's like leading this group. I don't even. I don't even know if he knows that he's leading them away from the karmic. But it's almost like, it's almost. He's just like. I just see him in this like leader posi leadership position where it's like I don't even know if he's doing it because it could be spiritual. It could be like, like psychically he's doing it without even being really conscious of it. You know, it's like he just. It's like I just see his spirit like made this call like it's safe like follow me like like holding a sword basically and leading these people away from her kind of, kind of energy where it's like, like a lot of people are following the, the divine masculine's example right now. Um, when he, when he stood up to the karmic and cut her out and blocked her and moved on from her, a lot of these people that she screwed over are also following his example and, and following him away from her is the energy that I'm getting here. Now, whether that was him physically saying or something, or if it was just spiritually, like that call was placed in the universe, like, and they felt that energy. It's like, he's strong. The divine masculine is very strong when he's actually in his power and using his intuition. And that, that is what I feel like, even though he goes up and down, I feel like for the most part, he is finally using his intuition. And, um, These little psychic vampire karmics are furious because their energy source is gone. They can't drain him anymore. They can't drain the people. They can't drain any of these people anymore. You know, people see through them now. People see how dark and toxic they are. Um, some people might even be filing police reports. I just got that. This isn't for everybody, but for a few of you, I feel like... I feel like some secrets have come out where some people might be filing police reports against the karmic. Some people might be like, oh, damn, she is a psycho. You're right. I think I'm going to watch my back, you know, and actually filing police reports just to be safe. That's what I was getting. But what I wanted to get into in this video is the karmic's alone because no one wants to deal with her clown ass anymore. Um, like I said, I feel like she has, okay, so like everybody is raising their vibration away from her. So she can't tap into their energy anymore. She can't use them as an energy source anymore because they've cut her out. They're not listening to her pathetic little sob stories anymore. They're not listening to her. They're just not, they're not listening to it anymore. And this goes for friends and family too. I feel like a lot of her friends are sick of her. A lot of her family, she's losing everybody because they're sick of her being a clown. They are like, and the thing is, these karmics are so bratty that a lot of people are agreeing with her, but she knows deep down that they don't really agree with her. You know, have you ever had someone that was just so committed to what they were saying, even though you knew it was bullshit? And so you just kind of like nodded and agreed, but you were like, okay, after this, after we hang out today, I'm never seeing you again. Like, like that kind of energy where it's like they... They want to play the victim so bad 
and nobody's believing it anymore. Everybody knows that the divine masculine is the real victim here. The karmic was never the victim. You know, everyone sees that now and you can't unsee that. You know what I mean? Because like her true colors have shown, you know, if she tries to lie about the masculine, I feel like people, I feel like people are going to come harder at her. Like they're just, they're going to know what's lies. Like they can tell at this point. But I'm getting that, you know, like I said, like a lot of people have raised their vibrations so she can't touch them anymore. She is trying to hide between, behind like, I feel like like behind mommy or behind daddy or behind um, some, this new toxic BFF of hers. And that relationship, by the way, we'll look into that again probably in the future. But sooner or later, that relationship is going to explode because two not narcissistic women, they might, it's like instant BFFs where it's like, oh, like we we bond. It's like. They're, they're bonding in their desire to play the victim and their desire to, you know, pretend like they're bad bitches and talk shit about other women and hate on everybody. Just bitterness. They're bonding with their on their bitterness. I feel like this woman that the karmic has teamed up with is someone that's also losing or has lost their their person or what who they thought was their person. And the divine is actually saving that person from this other toxic karmic. So they're both in the same energy group here. So they're bonding over that. Like, yeah, fuck these divine feminines. Like, we're the real divine feminines. Look at us. Like, no, you can dress, you can do your makeup and your hair and you can spend fucking hours on it. You, you will never compare to a divine feminine. Just never, ever, ever. Not in a million years. And that's inside. That's who you are on the inside. It shows through. Everybody sees it now. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are bonding because they're, they're both bitter. They're both narcissistic too. And they're both, you know, they're both receiving bad karma. They're both receiving bad karma at the same time for the people that they've screwed over. So they're bonding in their bitterness. That friendship is going to explode. It's not going to be very long lasting because, you know, two narcissistic women, you, you've probably, you've probably seen women like that where it's like instant BFFs where they just bond over the most toxic reasons. And they're going to end up hating each other. I feel like some of them are actually going to end up doing witchcraft on each other. Like, they're, it's going to explode so bad that some of these toxic karmics that are um, bonding right now, they're going to end up taking each other down. It's going to start with them bonding over their hatred for someone, and they're going to end up doing witchcraft against each other in the end because they're going to get in arguments that are going to start spiraling, spiraling downward, and they're going to have no one else to take their anger and hatred out on. So they're going to take it out on each other. Because, I mean, two narcissists, it just, it doesn't work. Because she's going to want all the attention and she wants all the attention. And at first they're like, oh, yeah, we can share the attention. But at some point they're just going to, they're going to eat each other alive. And that, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be funny because they're going to do witchcraft on each other. They're going to destroy each other. Um, as if the karmics weren't already fucked already. And also I want to tell you guys that the karmic that's helping, this toxic karmic, whether this is an old friend of yours or an old friend of your masculines or whoever, this toxic karmic that's helping the other toxic karmic, um, whether it's her mom or whether it's, um, like I said, for some it's like a new instant BFF and it's going to explode. It's not. It's going to be very, a very short-lived friendship. But either way, it's, it's going to go down in flames. And this other toxic karmic also has bad karma now for even helping her. Because it's unjustified. Like, she didn't, you know what I mean? Like, she's getting into drama that's none of her business even. So, so she's going down with her. I feel like she's also going to have resentment because she's going to start having bad karma. Like, she's going to get dragged. Like, some of these karmics might drag the, um, some of these karmics might end up dragging the, uh, this other toxic karmic into something illegal. Like they might be like, Hey girl, like you want to slit his tires for me? Or like, Hey girl, like, like, Hey, I, I just hear someone being like, like, Hey girl, like, Hey, like sassy. Like, and I'm like, Oh my God, dumb bitches. And like I said, this could be two men as well. You need to be mindful of that. So what I'm feeling is that some of these toxic karmics are saying, Hey, like, they're lying and like they're they're like, oh, he did this to me and that to me. And, and you know, like you want to help me get justice and I'll help you. I'll help you do love spells on your person to get him back because they're both losing their men right now or losing their women. You know, take it as it resonates. But they're both losing who they thought were their people because it's a karmic situation. And these both these both these men or both these women deserve more. So they're getting away from them. And so these two karmics are, are bonding in their bitterness 
And I just see these two toxic women like sitting at a club. I don't know if they actually go to clubs or not, but I just kind of see them, you know, like I said, they're the type to sit there drinking their martinis and um, talking shit and and looking at other girls up and down. And they think they're so big and bad and they're so hot because they spent three hours doing their makeup. And the Divine Feminine doesn't even have to try, though. Honestly, she doesn't have to wear makeup at all. And she still looks more beautiful than the karmic ever will. But um, anyway, (laughs) um. Oh my God, these bitches are just so crazy. But yeah, I'm getting that some of them are like planning something illegal. I'm actually probably going to do, okay, I'm going to do four videos. I know I said I'm going to do two. I'm going to do four because I need to get into this as well. Um, Some of these karmics are planning something illegal. So they're saying like, hey girl, like slit his tires for me. And in exchange, I'll I'll slit your person's tires or, um, you know, Stalk him on mess. Stalk him on Facebook for me. Stalk him on Instagram. Make this fake account and add him and see see what's up with him. Try to get to know him better, or try to get to know her better, and um, you know, do that for me. Spy on her social media, and in exchange, I'll do some spell work for you. And um, what I'm feeling, I'm sorry I don't pull cards. I know you guys probably like the cards, and I will start pulling them more. I just I channel, so this isn't just me talking. This is me connecting directly to source, directly to spirits, directly to your people, to to the whole, to all of it. You know, I'm channeling all of it. So, so I just want to let you guys know that I'm channeling. This isn't just me randomly talking. This is what I'm picking up. This is the energy. This is what I feel off it. But um, yeah, some of these karmics, it's like they're planning something illegal together. Like I said, she's been cut off by other people, like, because, you know, she just, they're, they're higher vibration. The divine is protecting all these people from her. So she had to meet someone else that was another demon or another succubus, just like her. And like I said, that's going to explode in her face. Or like I said, some of them are trying to hide behind mommy. They want mommy to protect them, but their mom is sick of them. So they might actually end up having a falling out with their own mothers, if that's the case. But, um, but yeah, what I'm feeling is like, cause I just see these two women that are plotting something. They're like, oh, let's do witchcraft together. And they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Or they're going to be like, oh, like, like there's something illegal. There's something, cause I see another karmic woman trying to drag this other woman into something illegal. And she might try to, she's trying to, she's manipulating this woman too. She's probably trying to like get her drunk and do it when she's drunk. Like, Hey girl, like you know, let's like, like they're partying together or something. And and she's like, Hey, like, you know, why don't we stop at my ex's house? And like, just, you just slit his tires really quick, you know, like something like psychotic like that, like fucking crazy. Or like, she's saying, you know what? Like he's blocked me on all accounts. Can you, um, can you make a fake profile and add him? Um, or can you stalk the divine feminine and let me know what's going on with her? Like I need some Intel or like, Hey, do you want to set him up with me or set her up with me? Just some kind of toxic shit. So I'm just getting like, and I'm getting that she's manipulating this other woman to do this with her. Like it's, it's not impulsive, but she's trying to make this other woman think it's impulsive. So it's almost like she has like the karmic has a plan, like, oh, I'm going to do this to the divine masculine or this to the divine feminine. And she's, she's going to give this other toxic karmic a sob story. She's going to come to her and be like, you know, like they're going to get drunk together or go out or something, or they're going to be talking and she's going to start crying and she's going to be like, oh, he cheated on me and he did this and this and this, and there's just no justice. Oh, just help me. And she's going to give, she's going to give her this whole fucking sob story. And this other toxic karmic is low vibrational. So she, she's not intuitive enough to see through it like everybody else can now. So she's going to be like, okay, girl, I'm so sorry he did that to you. Yeah, fuck men. All men are bastards. Let's get him. You know? <laughs> Like, I hate to laugh, but they're just so fucking ridiculous. There's such, like, stereotypical, like, toxic bitches. Like, they're so ridiculous. I can't with them. Oh, my gosh. I can't even. (laughs) I'm sorry. Okay, I need to stop giggling. It's just funny, though. (laughs) It's funny when I tune into it. I'm like, what is wrong with these bitches? Like, fucking shit. Like, Courtney Love called. She wants her fucking wardrobe back, you skanks. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Back to back to what I was saying. So yeah, some of them are trying to drag them into doing something illegal with them, and it's all planned out. And this toxic, this other toxic karmic does not realize that. 
this other toxic karmic is like, oh, we're BFFs now. Everything's like, oh, I finally found a girl that likes me for me. She doesn't like you for you, dummy. She likes you because you're teaming up with her to, you're helping her. You're just, you're just a means to an end. She's just using you because she wants, re you know, revenge. She wants to ruin this masculine's life. She wants to ruin this feminine's life. There's no real love between these two toxic karmics. They're just using each other as a means to an end. It's a very toxic, very low vibrational connection. You know, instant BFF kind of connection. Like I said, for some, it's it's a it's a toxic mother that's helping her, but her mom's sick of her and about to give up on her um, or getting close to that point because she doesn't want to deal with this shit anymore. So this is planned out where it's like, she, it's planned out where it's like, she's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to get her drunk and I'm going to give her a sob story and I'm going to play on her emotions because I know she's going through the same thing as me right now. We're in the same energy group. So I'm going to play on her emotions and on her hatred of men or her hate or his hatred of women or, you know, could be male and male and female, female, take it as it resonates. But, you know, she's like, she's thinking like, oh, I'm going to play on her emotions. So, and th this toxic karmic isn't going to realize it in the moment. This toxic karmic is going to think that they're having this bonding moment and, oh, she's opening up to me and telling me all about all the stuff she's been through with this man and, oh, I'm going to help her get her justice. I'm going to, um, yes, I'll totally girl, I'll go slit his tires for you. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go make a fake, uh, social media page. I'll go, you know, call him from a fake number. I'll go show up, you know, I'll try to show up at his work. I'll go, I'll go flirt with him and see what he does. Like, I'll go, it's like, why would you need to flirt with him to see what he does? He already doesn't want you. Like, like you already know that, you know what I mean? Some of them, cause I see some of them being like, Hey, yeah, see, flirt with him to see if he would go for it. Like, like he doesn't want you. He, you know what I mean? Like you guys are already over. Why would you need to send someone to flirt with him? That's what you do. Like if you're in a relationship and you feel like someone's cheating, that's one thing, but like he's long over you. Like you, you karmics are delusional. Like you don't get the masculine's been over you for a long fucking time. Like the masculine's been over you since long before the divine feminine even came into the picture. But anyway, um, yeah, they're plotting something and she's going to, she's going to prey on this other toxic karmics emotions in the moment. She's going to be like, yeah, he screwed me over. He did this and this. You know, please just get some justice for me and I'll, I'll return the favor. I'll do, I'll do some witchcraft on your man if you try to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And their witchcraft isn't working anymore, like I've said. It's just, it's, it's powerless now. But, um, but yeah, and some of them, some of them it's witchcraft, some of them it's something illegal where it's like they're planning something or they're trying to get this person to make a fake profile to spy on them. Because these two women love drama, so they're feeding off of the drama together. So be careful of fake social media accounts, both divine masculines and feminines. Be careful, you know, protect your location. Um, just, just be, be safe. Be mindful of, of random toxic people coming into your life that you are like, who the fuck is this? Like, who is this that just added me? You know, be mindful of it. Because like I said, some of them are trying to, to draw this other toxic feminine into this and they're using her. This a toxic feminine is using, they're using each other. But, but yeah, she's going to try, she's planning it out. So she's going to try to make it like a sob story. She's going to make it seem like a spur of the moment thing where she's like, let's say she's planning on asking her to slit his tires or stalk him on social media or stalk the divine feminine or whatever. Um, she's going to like get her drunk or get her high. And then in that moment, like she's going to pretend like they're having a bonding moment and she's going to cry and be like, you know, I just thought of something. Do you think that you could do this favor for me, please? I need the justice. And, you know, little does this other toxic karmic know that was all planned out. She knew she was planning on that. She was planning on exploiting her emotions. So this, this instant BFF connection is going to go down in flames. They're going to hate each other. They're probably going to end up doing witchcraft on each other. And I'm going to laugh my ass off when that happens. Um, I'm going to go do the next video now because this ended up being about something else that I channeled that I was not expecting. So I'm going to go do two more videos. So there's four videos total. So check back for those. As always, if you want a private reading, email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. You can just copy and paste it. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, maybe other people need to hear this message too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much.